What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, um, I'm going to be talking about Darnell Savage, rookie safety for the Green Bay Packers. Um, I usually do mostly Miami Dolphins content on this channel, but as I promised, I'd be doing um, rookies around the league. So, I'm going to... And this is a guy I actually did a video on when he was in college. Um, big fan of him. Fast, makes reads pretty quickly. Um, now, as you can see, I've hit F7 to just search his name. Because with NFL Game Pass, it's too early in his career for him to actually be in their database. So I can't actually search for him yet. So I just went into the first game and then just hit uh, Control Control F and then just typed his last name in. And we're, we're gonna go up. We're gonna go over all the plays where his name comes up. So, and there I, I've looked through it. There's a total of six of them. Um, four plays in the second quarter and two in the fourth. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get right into this one. Um, he's lining up here in the box. I don't remember exactly where he lined up in all six of these. I've looked at them real quick, but I'm gonna break them down here. I'll um, let it play through once, full speed for y'all. All right, cool. Yeah, he's lining up in the box here, strong at strong safety. Looks like zone coverage. It's not bad. Um, as you'll see, he improves on this throughout the game. It's one of the things I think he's better at. Uh, but on this one, he, he does an okay job, but I, I kind of want him to see Tariq Cohen a little bit quicker. Um, cause he's got his eyes on, on Mitch here, but as Cohen starts to get, you can see how the linebackers are, uh, crashing down cause they're, they're, they're reading the running back right now. So Savage at this point needs to come right at Cohen because Cohen is about to get open in the middle. Uh, I'd, I'd like to see him start moving that way a little bit quicker. Uh, he improves on this in throughout the game, but and he still makes a good tackle. So this this isn't that bad of a play, but I just thought I should mention it. Um that I'd like to see him get a little bit faster with that. That's all. And uh, I'll go find the next All right, so uh, on this play here, um, this one he does what I was just talking about a lot better. Go ahead and slow it down. He's he's lining up here um, at the as a single high safety. Tariq Cohen is gonna come around outside and he's gonna blow up on him. Watch this. Actually, I'm gonna uh, not slow it down because I want to see. You, I want you to see how fast he gets to Tariq Cohen here. He reads that immediately. He reads that pitch. And, uh, yeah, he's just going to blow up on it. Not really a pitch, but outside run. And he's just going to push him out of bounds. Let me see if I can get another angle. There he is here. 26. Eh. That's uh, the type of thing that I'm kind of looking forward to seeing with Darnell Savage. Uh, let's go ahead and find the next one. All right, so uh, in this one, he's going to be lining up right here in the, uh, not really in the box, but yeah. Going to make a, another pretty good read. Going to show off his speed again. I'll let it go in full speed before I slow it down. Yeah. So I'm pretty um pretty good awareness on his part. Uh he he sees the ball going to Cohen and he immediately runs up to uh to hit him. So can't complain about that. Slow it down a little bit. One's gonna break here. I'd like to see this defensive back make a play, but whatever. Not looking at him, I'm looking at Darnell Savage. And he he hits him pretty hard too, to be fair. So definitely like that. And that's another thing too. Darnell Savage can absolutely hit you hard as shit. So there's that. But 
All right, so um, and this one, this one's a lot of fun. He, he's he's over here, um, and he's gonna make a fantastic play on on the ball, and he's gonna knock this ball out. I'm gonna let it go full speed here for you. I'm just gonna let y'all watch it before I talk about it. Hmm, that's fantastic. That's fantastic. He's just gonna um. Let me slow it down. He's going to see the tight end getting past the linebacker here. He's he's watching Mitch, and he's immediately... Because, look, he's already looking. He's already started to turn toward that safety now, and he's just going to get in and knock that ball out. He almost picks it off. If he reads that just a second faster, that's probably an interception instead of an incomplete pass. But... um. Still, still fantastic play. Fantastic play. And that's the type of stuff that Darnell Savage is fantastic at. Uh, if you underestimate his speed, he will hurt you. Let me actually um, get the other angle on that. Let it go in full speed, though. Darnell Savage over here on the right. Hmm. Let me take that back a bit. Slow that down. The bottom of the screen. And actually that was Allen Robinson, not the tight end, but whatever. But see, he, he got he got his hands on it. Almost could have been a pick, but I mean, I'll take that. You'll take batted down passes any day. Alright, so um on this one, this one's going to be another good read. I'll let y'all watch it in full speed first. Um, just solid zone coverage, and oh, you'll see. I'll talk about it after you see it. He's lining up right here. Mm. See, as you can see, as the game is progressing, he's starting to get faster and faster with his reads because watch, um, watch him looking at Trubisky because he, he's not looking at the receiver. His eyes are on Trubisky right now. Because, look, he's already moving. He's already on his way, and Trubisky hasn't even started his throwing motion. He was able to anticipate that that's where the ball was going, and he got there and stopped it for a short for a, uh, for a short um, possession. So, yeah, like I said, he, he's already improving as the game progresses. Let's show it at the other angle here. Yeah. And wait, did I just see something else there too? Uh, hold up. Let me get that play back. It moved over to the next play, so hold up. I seen something when I was at this angle. I mean, rewind it a little bit. When he makes contact with the uh, receiver here, watch at the top of the screen. I'm gonna rewind it and slow it down before it goes away. Yeah, you see where his hands are? They're right on the ball. He he's not just tackling. He's trying to rip that ball out. That's great instincts right there. He's trying to rip that ball out. I didn't see that the first time around. I didn't because I didn't watch that angle. But yeah, he's trying to rip that ball out. He didn't get it, but that's good instincts. Um, let's go ahead and just go to the next play. I'm not going to pause the recording here. Just go go to it. All right, this is a uh, blitz here. Um, he's lining up right here, and he's just going to splice right through the gap between the um, tackle and guard. He's just too fast for this. He doesn't get the sack, but he pressures Trubisky into making a hurried throw. Good play. Good play. And But th that, that was more on play design. He didn't do anything real special there. He went in unblocked, and with that type of speed, there wasn't a whole lot they could do. The tackle and guard were both occupied, so it is what it is there. But, hey, he still made a good play. He pressured uh, Mitch Trubisky. He ran into that gap without hesitation, so I'll give him that. Let me, uh, let's watch it at the other angle, though. Let's 
slow it down. This is actually a better angle for this. He's not on screen right now. He's about over here somewhere. I right, slow it down now. Yeah, because like I said, the tackle and guard are occupied, so he just goes right through the gap and pressures him. It's actually not a bad throw, but uh, yeah, Trubisky actually made a pretty decent throw there, but still pressured. Um, still another good play by Darnell Savage. Uh, that's actually all the plays that actually came up. Nothing really came. Nothing came up in the first quarter or the or the uh, third. Um, but basically, in summary, like I said before, his playing ability started getting better and better as the game progressed. Uh, he, he he started making reads a lot quicker. Um, a lot of that probably came down to him gaining more and more confidence in himself. And I think he's going to continue to do that throughout the season. I think he's only going to get better. Uh, I, th I think this guy is going to has a chance to be a really good safety in the NFL. Um, I was already a big fan of him in college. So, yeah, I'm not going to talk too much longer on him. Um, I'll probably leave a link to the video I made of him before he was drafted in the description of this video. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. If you liked this video, I would appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.